Alright so guys, I discovered this really cool speedrunning glitch. If you like build something like this and then like place a block of sand and then you time it right, it creates like this glitched out block and if you like hop on top of it, it really brings you- One year ago, I made the real Minecraft backrooms and you guys loved it so much that for the past year, I've been working hard on a sequel. This is the true Minecraft backrooms. The backroom started with this 4chan post in 2019 where some users commented on how creepy the image was and how it felt strangely familiar. The image was so unsettling in fact that some even wrote short stories on it, eventually snowballing into a huge fanbase with an almost 3000 page wiki. There's been a surge of interest in the backrooms recently, which led to a surge in Minecraft backrooms videos. But these videos all get something wrong. The backrooms isn't just one level. The backrooms consists of thousands of levels, all with their own quirky features and unique entities. Since anyone can create a backrooms level by writing a page on the wiki though, the quality of information on each level varies wildly. There's only three levels that everyone agrees on. Levels 0, 1, and 2. Now I already made those first three levels last time, but this time we're getting funky and venturing into the unknown with making the next trio. Levels 3, 4, and 5. Now that the backrooms crash course is over, it's time to actually build those levels, starting with level 3. The wiki explains that level 3 is a maze of long electrical station tunnels connecting rooms with complex machinery, elevators, and large glass windows. It's worth noting that the windows are covered with strong iron bars, so there's no easy way to escape by shattering the glass. Pipes containing some questionable liquid resembling water and combustible fluid run along the tunnels, exposed bits of wire hang from the ceiling, and rooms are marked with white signs in increasing numerical order from 1 to 999. Now since level 3 is supposed to be seemingly infinite and it would be impossible to build all of its rooms by hand, I used the same method to generate connected rooms as I did for level 0 in my last video. I won't go too far into the tech, but the main idea is that players clone the map section behind them when they walk towards an unloaded area, giving the perception that the level is infinite, but really only loading the areas that the player explores. There's also supposed to be entities in level 3 too, but the wiki literally says nothing about them. I can only find like one line of text that says that they dislike the windows. So I just chucked in some teched up skeletons. Hey, they burn in the light, so of course they'd stay away from the windows, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it for level 3. All that's left is to add in some entrances and exits. The wiki states that you can enter level 3 via a fire exit on level 2, so I went ahead and connected it to the previous 3 levels using a short corridor. Although there's only one way to enter, there's two ways to exit level 3. You can go through a door labeled office sector, or hop on one of the elevators, both of which will take you to level 4. And level 4 is a little less complex. It's literally just an enormous empty office building, with a few scattered rooms with furniture and wide sweeping windows that look out on stormy skies. I chose concrete for this as well and added in some carpeted floors with dark spots where the desks and chairs used to be, with some scattered pillars throughout the office. The wiki also states that there are some empty light panels in the ceiling with light switches that don't work, so I added that in too. Oh, and there are also no entities at all for level 4. Now where level 4 really shines though is the weather. Sky color changes with the seasons, ranging from a purplish hue in the summer to grayish white in the winter. I accomplished this using the slash fog commands plus some proximity sensors that turn on the fog and toggle downfall whenever players approach the windows. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, if you stumble upon an ornate door with classical music playing from within, you can leave level 4 and enter the last level we'll be building, level 5. Now level 5, nicknamed the Terror Hotel, is arguably the coolest level I've made yet. It's a fancy hotel building with three sections, the main hall, the Beverly room, and the boiler room. There's one very scary entity in here, but we'll talk about him later. The main hall is a small but swanky reception area painted red with gold trim with scattered pillars and lots of plants to decorate the space. If you venture further into the hotel from the reception, you'll enter the second and largest room of the three, the Beverly Room. The Beverly Room is a giant ballroom that's completely empty except for a large chandelier in the center with a small art deco table under it, as well as some plants and gruesome paintings lining the walls. This room is said to be especially unsettling and there's constant whispering sounds that play as you move around the room. And finally, if you enter a small, unmarked door at the end, you'll reach the boiler room, a room much like level 3 that contains rusted iron and copper machinery in disarray. There's also some long, mysterious hallways that end in darkness, very typical for the backrooms. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, there's a slight chance to wind up here in level 5 instead of level 4 if you use the elevator in level 3. Why does this have to be so complicated? Now entities aren't my strong suit, but thankfully level 5 has just one. 
It's supposed to be this tall humanoid that wears all black. It's known for its stealth, and it has these wide, glowing eyes that stare right through you. Oh, and projectiles pass right through it, so it's unknown if this beast is really real or just a hallucination. So I messaged my friend Willie the Worm, who's an experienced Minecraft modder, to help me out. And he said, Isn't that just an Enderman? Oh. And that's it. We're done. All that's left to do is test it out.